Hello, sweeties. Oh, let me grab this other light because the sun. Try not to fall off my chair this time. Oh, the sun keeps coming and going between clouds, so it does this weird light and then it's dark. Okay, today's project: making envelopes. But we're going to take craft paper. This is the stuff that comes in um, when you get a package. I have the Mr. Save a bunch for me from work. And um, this is the stuff I made. No, I don't think this is the stuff I made. The, uh, the um, art journal out of the brown bag special. I think I made that one out of the roll of painters um, brown craft paper, masking paper. No, I think this one's different. Anyhow, um, it comes in, this was all in, in massive pieces all wadded up, so it came pretty wrinkly, which I love. What I've done is cut it into manageable sizes, fold it into quarters, and then I just rough cut it from there, because we're going to cut out envelopes from these pieces. Today we're going to play with just making painty papers on one side. I'm not worried about the insides being decorated, because time is against me at this point. But um, I've taken um, paper towel rolls and just chunks of random cardboard and an old pill bottle um, and just glued random things to them. You know, I've got big bubble wrap, little bubble wrap. These were cookie liners um, from this tin of cookies um, that they use for packaging so that the cookies don't break. Um, I've saved the tin because it's full of random lids and there's little things off the deodorants for mark making. Um, so yeah, we'll get to that part later. I did just want to show you what I use for my mark making tools. I've got um, hair combs and such. Um, oh, there's some more. Um, tomato paste tin all cleaned out obviously. We've got random bubble wrap and sponges and netting. If you stretch these out and spray through them they make great patterns. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But um, these also work. I like to glue them to stuff as um, texture. Uh, let's see. Whoa. That's about it I think for those ones. Oh, um, I like to use uh, pill bottles and stuff for um, just dipping and stamping um, for mark making as well. So we'll get to that part. First I want to, um, oh my goodness, all the paint's starting to flake off of them. I need to make some new ones, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Let me move that over there. Right now I'm just slapping down paint. We just need a background and I'm not going to do my usual painty papers because when I do when I do the big sheet um, oh, move that um, when I do the big sheet you know what, I think I want something different there we go I want to keep this as thin as possible so it dries quickly um, and we can always add more layers. But the uh, usual painting papers I do on, well I'll do them on anything, but I like to use the um, either newspaper or, um, what is that, the butcher's paper, um, big pack of uh, packing paper. Um, it's really thin though and by the time I'm done it feels almost almost like a leather or something. It's weird. Okay, the paints I'm using today are the Folk Art, I don't know, matte finish acrylic paints and the Apple Bottom, the Apple Bottom, oh my god I still do that. <laughs> the Apple Barrel uh, matte acrylic paint. Oh my god I can't believe I still do that. That's hilarious. Excuse me. I'm 
trying desperately to get in the Christmas spirit because this year, this year's a tough one. Well, Christmas is tough anyway, but yeah. Okay, I'm not going to worry about sharing what colors I'm using. If you're going to do this, just don't worry about it unless there's a specific theme you're going for. Use all the colors. Oh my god, that's pretty. I like that. We're not going for total coverage even, um, it doesn't matter. Actually, those might be in your way. I do apologize. I will link the playlist, the Christmas playlist I'm listening to on the Xbox, I will link it below. Um, obviously I do not own the rights to any of that, and it is a collection somebody else has put together anyway. But it's got, uh, yeah, it's got all the, um, Christmas lights and, um, stuff people have done with their, their, on the outside of their houses and stuff, um, for light shows and whatnot for Christmas. It's very cool. But I try and listen to this. In the last couple of years, and it might be a bit loud currently, but um, I usually actually listen to it much louder. It's got a lot of Mannerheim steamroller in it, and I love them. I love them so hard. Just amazing. But the best crafting I do tends to be when I've got music on. I've got to have music. don't need the whole thing covered because we're going to cut it down into envelopes and I'm not doing the insides although now that I'm looking at them I almost want to but I really don't have that much time it dawned on me today that it's the 10th of December like what the hell where's this year gone just and I feel I've got nothing to show for the year, which is absolutely not true. Um, which is funny, I'm, I'm working through uh, Lisa Jacobs' Your Best Year 2018 version. And um, getting ready to set up my new planner and stuff like that. I'm a wannabe planner. I have the best intentions, but I don't stick necessarily to exactly what I've laid out, which is ridiculous because I laid it out. It shouldn't be that difficult. Everything gets done eventually, but yeah, it's just crazy. Crazy. But, uh, the workbooks are amazing. She has you answer all these questions and it's like, oh my god, I don't know. I haven't... What did I do this year? What are my big accomplishments or what goals did I set that I, I did accomplish or whatever? And I started going through it and at first I panicked. I was like, oh my god, I haven't done anything. And the more I, I stick it in the background there and stuff comes up, it's like, oh my god, I had an epic year. Um, you know, I started my YouTube and it's grown amazingly well. And I absolutely love it. Um, I'm finally up to posting pretty regularly three times a week, which was my goal for the end of the year. Um, let's see, as far as accomplishments go, I was invited, you know, to be on the Shiny Designs creative design team. That's a lifelong dream for me. Um, yeah, just lots of, of stuff like that that I'm like, oh, 
stuff. I like that stuff. <laughs> Here. Oh no, I wasted paint. <gasps> paint down. Don't waste the paint. Oh. I tell you what, this is my first roll ever of the, what is it, Reynolds Kitchens parchment paper. Um, and I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. And I only got the smaller roll. I'm thinking I should have just gone ahead and got the big one. But I wasn't sure if I'd like it or if it would work the way I thought it should. And oh my god, it's amazing. Amazing. So much better than the wax paper I was using. Um, and I don't mind the wax paper, it's fine, but, yeah, it just, I still have to peel it off of stuff sometimes, and I don't like the look that it leaves. It's okay if you do that on purpose and, and like, squish it and make texture, that's cool, but, um, overall, um, this is amazing. Nothing sticks to it, really. I mean, yeah, I just got paint on it, but that'll chip off here in a little bit. Okay. Oh, I think the boys are back from their bike ride. Alright, from here on out, I will just show you what I'm doing. You've seen what I'm using. Um, and these are just glued. This one's falling apart. I need to make more. This is just white school glue, you could use hot glue, um, or Aileen's tacky glue maybe, and I just, you know, roll, put glue on, roll it on, um, hold it with rubber bands until it's dry, and then I just roll it in the paint I need and roll it across, you'll see me doing that. But you can use anything as texture or mark makers or that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I will speed up video and add music from here on out. So I'll see you again in here in a little bit. Love you, bye.
sweeties. Okay, I've been working on these all night. I have a heck of a pile of scraps, which I've sorted through and kept all the good ones. Um, got two different sizes for the most part, and these will come in handy for tags and whatnot. All sorts of things. Let's have to move them again. All right, I finished up the last set of Christmas cards. For the most part here, so I, I just got to fill those out. I finished up the last set of ornament parts for the cards, and they've all got tags or hangers now. Um, I had to go with raffia, this raffia ribbon stuff on the last set. Well, the second to last set. I still have some left over. Um, see if I need those yet or not. I haven't counted them all out. I just keep making things. I haven't counted as I've gone. Okay. This is our collection of painty papers or the painty craft papers envelopes. And just so I don't get any questions on it, um, I left a couple. <laughs> that aren't finished yet, so I can show you how I did it for sure. Um, I've got my envelope template that I used, or that I made from just a regular envelope. And it, I'm going to have to make another one. It's starting to get really tidy around the edges. Um, and where I cut it, or where I un, undid it, um, it tore a little bit, so it's so yeah, I think I'm going to have to make another one um, and probably laminate it and that should be better, hopefully. Okay, so what I've done is my big pieces, painting paper, traced around, cut it out, and uh, inside corner to inside corner, fold that, and the sides. I start with the bottom first, even though um, when I glue it together, I have to undo that part. And I don't worry about folding the top until right before I, I need the envelope, um, at least on these ones that's what I'm doing. Um, sometimes it's different. But yeah, then, then we'll put glue here. Fold, uh, put glue right along this very edge, because I'm usually heavy handed with wet glue. Um, so I just try and use a little bit, but that'll be another envelope. So I'll finish making those here in a little bit. But what we'll be doing, let's see, let's grab a sparkly one. Sparkly. Okay, that'll work. Okay. That's not the coolest one. That's fine. That one's pretty. Okay, so final thing for these envelopes and such. We'll grab, let's see, that one you should be able to see pretty good. We'll grab an ornament, and my original plan way back when I started this project was to stick them on the front, tape this to the back, and then this part moves, you know, is, is loose on the card, so it's interactive, which I'm a fan of. But as I've gone along, it's just better, um, the other cards I put pockets on and touch the ornament in, and that worked fine, but these ones, um, I'm just... Once I get them written in, I'm just laying this as gently as I can and closing it like such. And then you've got your lovely present, which is in fact just a Christmas card. <laughs> See? Ta da! And then, yeah, I've been using a label or um, white paint where I can write um, addresses and, and whatnot on. Um, these ones, I might just do some pretty paper, write it out, and then um, i got to tape these anyway. That way I know that they make it better, or well, they're more likely to make it better. Um, so yeah, packing tape, like, all the way around. Now you may, you may not want to do that. It's an awful lot of work just for a Christmas card. Sure. But there's something about receiving 
this as happy mail at least when I when I get happy mail I really take a moment to just enjoy the envelope even if it's um, a regular envelope with a little bit of stamping or doodling or something there's something about it that's just it makes you slow it down and enjoy, really, really enjoy the moment. Just slow down and look and appreciate that somebody put in time and effort for you. How stinking cool is that? That's just... That's just awesome, I think, when I get them. Um, and it's funny, this morning I came across... Um, yeah. I came across a set of Christmas cards that we'd gotten from last year, um, and I was collecting them all in one of my um, memory books, but these are great big cards, so what I'm going to do, normally I, I like to just see the, the covers, so I, I cover, like, uh, or make sure that, that things are stuck down wherever notes were written or the actual deal. But I actually read through these. And as much as I whine about, you know, halfway through making all this stuff with the Christmas cards, it's like, why am I doing a hundred and some Christmas cards? This is ridiculous. I'm tired. I'm over this project. But honestly, after reading all these cards, and I almost cried, it just... When people tell you that your homemade card made their day, um, and that's not why we do it. We do it because this is what we do. This, this is our thing. So we share that and send light and love, and it's fun. It is fun. It gets old. It gets tiring. And honestly, I just get bored and want to move on to another project, even though I've had other projects going for well, I started these two or three weeks ago with the acrylic pours. It's been a while. I've been working on this project for a while. And I have done other stuff in between. I don't know. If I can make somebody's day with just one card, then it's good. It's good. I do have to show you this one, though, because it was just adorable. Look at this card. <laughs> I'm not a huge cat person. Not um, domesticated cats. I I like my big wild cats, honestly. Um, I think they're just more of my uh, spirit animal or some such. I use them a lot in my art. Um, like real owls or birds of prey or what have you. But yeah, I, I thought that was cute. Cute, cute. Because, yeah, that's just precious. And I have to find what this is. This is the same, um, I think it's a woven linen, but it feels like it's got a plastic coating or something on it. But that's the same um, paper stuff that I did the uh, envelopes from the calendars out of. And I was looking at my current calendar, which is almost finished, and it's the same thing, but it's really sturdy stuff, and it makes awesome envelopes, which I'll be doing with my latest calendar as soon as the new year hits. <laughs> Hello, Jane Cook. Okay, you guys, so that is my Christmas card project all finished with my painting craft envelopes. Now, if I did this over, I wanted to do the same project next year, which I've already got plans for next year, so I won't be doing it just like this anyway. But I would have stuck with my original plan of getting the disposable drink coasters and um, just pouring on those instead of worrying about going to all this trouble. Because I could paint the backs, pour on the fronts, or pour on the fronts, paint the backs, punch, tie a ribbon, and it wouldn't have taken this long to get all this put together. Just in case you, you have any plans of doing this. And you could do this for any holiday, honestly. 
um, you could do, you know, different shapes or whatever, shamrocks or hearts or, and you could do stars or something, that'd be cute. But yeah, that is the build, my love. I will uh, catch you in the next video. If you haven't yet, please either like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Um, hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions. Uh, if you have an extra dollar or two to help towards glue sticks and coffee, hit me up in the tip jar. Um, you got to have glue sticks and coffee. That's all I'm saying. Makes the world go round. Alright you guys, I will see you in the next video. Know that I love you, and I appreciate you, and you matter. Okay, love you, bye-bye.